On a Vampire Hardcore Iron Man, the sun is my worst enemy. For six hours of gameplay at night, all content in the game is unlocked. During the next six hours of daytime, I can only be in Mauritania, underground, or in another realm. One death, or moment in the sun, means the series is over. But I will do my best to survive, and eventually conquer the theater of blood. So for the beginning of this account, I went ahead and got the 10k from the Stronghold, which I'm going to use to buy runes to do some quests to get myself some combat stats and HP for Priest in Peril. And I'm also starting Rune Mysteries, Restless Ghost, and this will be for Witch's House. There we go. That is the Witch's House complete. First quest done on this account. Monk's Friend quest complete. There we go. That is going to be the Tree Gnome Village quest complete. 10 agility out of the way, it means we can go to Drainer. Boom! Restless Ghost complete. Rune Mysteries quest complete. Alright, we just got 25 agility, which now unlocks the Grand Tree quest. That is Fight Arena done real quick. Here we go. Grand Tree quest complete. And a nice chunk of attack and agility XP coming in. There it is. 40 agility done. And now it's time to do Priest in Peril. That's Priest in Peril complete. That's 15 prayer. That's three seconds left on the timer. And I shall have to talk to Drazel to get through here. But sunrise is here. We just finished the quest and I can make it through to go train agility. <laughs> So with one second left in the daytime, we've completed 144 marks of grace total, and we've got 53 agility. So here, because I'm going to go do the agility pyramid, I've decided to, instead of buying like the top and legs like you usually might, I'm going to buy the things that don't have desert pieces that go with them. After about half an hour of agility, we've got 60k cash, ready to do some quests. So I came out here through the wild to the mage bank to buy myself some cosmics for jewelry enchanting later, some law runes for teleports, and some casts to kill quest bosses. Alright, Elizabeth did it, and that is murder mystery complete. Stop by real quick to get the cook's assistant quest done. We got Plague City done. This gets me 15 mining, which will allow me to do Doric's quest to get 20 mining for Elemental Workshop. There we go. That is Doric's quest complete. That is the Knight's Sword complete. 12.7k smithing XP, which is 29 smithing from level 1. That's Elemental Workshop 1 completed. 5k crafting, 5k smithing, which means 29 crafting overall and 32 smithing. Mother of... This time around, we're not going to make a shield, and that is Elemental Workshop 2 complete. Okay, with this log, I will be getting 30 fire making. Alright, so that's Gertrude's cat complete. We got our kitten, we got enough cooking XP to get to 16. I thought it was actually going to be more, I'm a little disappointed, that's okay. Hey, there it is. 20 cooking, which allows me to make nettle tea. Things are brightening up, and we are safely in Canifus. I've got 58 agility and I got about 130 more marks, so not quite enough for full graceful. I'll probably grab the top and the bottom and need to come back for the boots for a little while during the next daytime. Time's up. Sunset is here, daytime is over, so I can leave Mauritania without dying. We're going to head on over to Valerina and finish the Ghost Ahoy quest, which gets an Ecto file. That's a big deal because now I can teleport straight into Mauritania. So I had 135 marks of grace. I think finishing the set is 150 because I need the top, the bottom, which I just got, and the boots. Transformation complete. 
Nature Spirit Quest done. This last log there was 36 woodcutting, and that's the last requirement we need for the Lost City quest. All right, so I've been here for the timer on my home teleport, so I can finish Lost City and start Fairy Tale Part 1. Gotten seven pyramid tops, 70k cash, and some emeralds from a random, which is pretty nice. Okay, so we head into the shack, and that is the Lost City quest complete. Well, after just taking a 20, because I apparently didn't place all the runes down before I realized it, and scaring me half to death because I thought I was going to lose my hardcore, that is the waterfall quest complete. All right, there it is. So right as this guy shows up with this cannon, 37 magic. All right, so we got the museum quiz done and nine slayer. So we just need to go get one quick task in Edgeville and get 10 slayer to kill some cave crawlers and safely obtain some white berries for the fairy tale quest. On the way to get a slayer task, druidic ritual complete, herbalor unlocked. All right, first slayer task. 15 birds. There we go. Terror birds were a good call because chickens would not have gotten me the level. So that is 10 Slayer. <laughs> Just as I gear up for like a decade long trip on the first kill. White berries. That's what I'm talking about. I feel like I'm getting knighted or something. There we go. We got the queen secateurs, which means we can go finish the quest. All right. We got those. And that is Fairytale 1 complete. This is where we get to go find out that the fairy queen is missing and unlock fairy rings and fairy rings are unlocked can't do more of the quests so gonna stop it there nice 2.5k cash and the black knight's fortress quest complete easy money jolly well done there we go 1k prayer herb and agility gaze of Saradomen and temple knight's initiate helm there we go 10 herb which i need for i believe dig site and 23 prayer all right, with 12 minutes left in the nighttime, that's 25 thieving, which is my last requirement for the dig site quest. Now the sun is rising and I am safely in the waterfall cave killing some fire giants. <laughs> next cast we'll get 40 magic which is nice that's another teleport unlocked teleport to house i don't have one right now but remington or some other places will be very useful in the future well uh i was i don't know i just was not expecting that and all right we have a rune scimitar there we go that is 45 magic nothing special since the uh, sim i got a fire battle staff which is cool i guess but really not a big deal so with three hours and 10 minutes left, we've got our 40 marks of grace, which is the graceful boot uh, purchase for finishing the entire set. And we also have 60 agility. All right, we have a score to settle and a couple more quest points in search of the Mayark complete. And that is 21 defense and 36 HP. So we hit a stopping point with the innate of the Mayark quest. I actually almost finished it but uh, there's a fight with Vampire Juvenates that I'm not high enough stats to effectively finish right now. So I'm going to go ahead and do my Slayer task on birds here, these undead chickens, and see if I can't get another one that will actually be a decent use of time. There we go. That's my very first task complete. After a few slain chickens, I'm going to go get another one from the Slayer Master here. Okay, we got 55 ghosts. I think I can do this here in Mauritania, but I'm not 100% sure. It turns out the only ghosts I have access to are the Tortured Souls by the Ectophontus, so I decided to come to the Enchanted Valley through Fairy Rings and try to get a Rune Axe or a Myth Axe for Animal Magnetism. Alright, so with the daytime winding down, we've collected uh, about 110 Nature Runes, got a Myth Axe for when we eventually do the Animal Magnetism quest, and just picked up a couple other herbs. So something I forgot was that I finished my graceful set, but I hadn't bought the last piece. So here we go. Graceful boots. Finally have the whole set, which is going to be really nice, especially while running around and questing. Uh, it's the increased energy regeneration rate, and plus it just looks nice. 
All right, that is the dig site quest completed. Two more quest points for 49 total, a huge chunk of mining XP, and a solid chunk of herbal XP as well, plus some gold bars. So that's 34 mining and 17 herbler. Oh, gorgeous. Look at that. Boom. <laughs> I love that it's five quest points. That's so sick. Five quest points, a little bit of crafting XP, a gold bar, and now we can start the Lost Tribe quest. Guess who's not welcome here anymore, you dang racist son of a gun. That's what I'm talking about. Peace treaty. Yeah, ring of life. There we go. You know I'm going to keep that on. 3k mining XP, one quest point. And the ability to start Death to the Dorgishin, which I think I have all the requirements for already. First ever clue on the Iron Man. Oh, what? That's awesome. Heck yeah. I'll take an Amulet of Magic Tea on my first clue. Nice. Easy clue number two. Zanuck! No! It's all over. You're in my debt once again. Darn right you are, fool. All right. Death to the Dorgashin complete. 2k thieving and ranged XP. The range is actually really nice because I was only 6, I think. Um, the thieving, not bad too because I need 30 for the feud, which will get me a big chunk of XP later on. Boom! No problem, Merlin. I got your back. I am now an honorary knight. Six quest points. That's sick. That's up to 62 quest points, and I get Excalibur. Not a bad deal, my friends. I am a splendid knight, and I've got two quest points, 11k prayer, and 15.3k defense XP to show for it. 33 prayer, and 34 defense. Very nice. At long last, we've got 20 hunter. It only took like a decade and a half. I think it took about 40 to 45 minutes just to get that level. After just about an hour and a half of Hunter, we finally have 29 and we can trap Swamp Lizards. That gives me a really, really useful thing that I can do during the next daytime. I'll probably spend most of it just trapping Swamp Lizards and hopefully get a good number of kudos because you need 100 to do the Bone Voyage quest to access Fossil Island, a 48. So we're doing pretty well here. I think I'll need to do maybe one more quest. But what we're going to do now is clean some finds to try to get the dig site pendant, pendant unlocked and pop up our kudos close to 100. That's so good. My RNG on this has been incredible. I'm actually mind blown. But that's dig site pendant within like 10 minutes, I think, as well as all the finds that you have to clean. Carlum. See ya, Weekend Delrith. Get out of here. Easy money. Three quest points and silver light. And that is how you finish up 100 kudos. So now I can start the Bone Voyage quest. All right, so I've gone and gotten 30 thieving. Hopefully I'm gonna pull a ruby necklace from one of these for Bone Voyage later on. Unfortunately, didn't pull any ruby necklaces, but we did get some future games necklaces and even a phoenix neck. And I guess some recoils and stuff too. There we go. 15,000 thieving XP, a blackjack, a quest point, and the desert disguise. Uh, really all I care about is the thieving XP. Having 37 thieving is going to make it a lot easier to do the ham store. Oh, wait, that wasn't what I meant to do. To do the ham storeroom, which is what I'm going to spend the first part of my day doing. Here we are, safely down in the ham storeroom, with nighttime winding to a close. Hopefully the next time I see you, I will have a couple of handy ruby necklaces and I can turn those into dig site pendants to do the Bone Voyage quest.